Hi and welcome back to the countertop and today I'm doing braised duck legs from Japanese. Hi and welcome back. And the recipe you're doing today is from this book, Japanese Cafe Cookbook by Alice Waters. Japanese and the Japanese Cafe are one of the most famous restaurants around the US, but specifically here in the Bay Area, they are out of Berkeley here. Talking a little bit about the book, the book is a very old book, so it, the book is from 99. Uh, it's a very classic book in a, in a way that doesn't have any pictures, doesn't have uh, any images overall, it's more about the recipes itself. All the recipes are super well described, so it still makes it very easy for you to cook. And the recipe we are doing today is duck legs braised with red wine. A very simple twist from a classic Coco Van French recipe. This book is super based on French recipes as well, so uh, they have a lot of twists, but the French cuisine reference is all over here. If you want to buy this book, please don't forget to use my affiliate link below. It doesn't cost you anything, but helps the channel to grow. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments what you like and what you don't like. And let's go for the ingredients. So here's all the ingredients that we need for our recipe today. So you're gonna need six duck legs. I already trimmed here all the fat, seasoned these with salt and pepper and leave these overnight in the fridge to get a little bit of the flavor of the salt and pepper. One tablespoon of hundred fat duck or you can use olive oil. One medium onion cut in half inch dices. Two medium carrots also cut into half inch dices. One bay leaf, two thyme branches, two garlic cloves, we're gonna slice these. A zest of half of a small orange. One cup of red wine, a good red wine actually, the ones that you can actually drink it. And one and a half cup of a basic chicken stock. Okay, so let's start doing. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna preheat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius. Then you get your one tablespoon of duck fat and put in a cast iron skillet over medium heat. You add the diced onion and the carrots and you saute these for five minutes or until it's lightly browned. In the meantime, you also put your chicken stock into a small pot just to warm it up. Now that we brown our vegetables, let's just put these on the base of our baking dish. You want to create like a base layer for all the ducks. Now we add the bay all the time, the garlics, our orange zest, the red wine, and finally our duck legs with the skin side down. And now we're gonna add the final piece, which is the chicken stock. Now you're gonna seal this tightly with the aluminum foil and bake for 20 minutes. After that, you just lower the temperature of the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and you bake for more 45 minutes. Now after our, a little bit more of one hour, it's time for us to remove the foil. As you can see, a lot of the red wine and the chicken stock reduced really well. And now we're going to just to turn it over our duck legs to skin side up. You can see the nice color of the wine on the duck legs. And we're gonna put these back in the oven now, uncover for more 15 minutes, and then we have our ducks, okay? So, let's do it. <laughs> now the skins are super crispy, so they look amazing so far. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the ducks here carefully and also get all the sauce and reduce a little bit over the pan. And then we're gonna be able to try it. All right, I'll be right back. So here's our duck leg with our reduced sauce and a little bit of mashed potatoes. Now let's try it. Let's see how this tastes. 
as you can see it's already shredding everything so looks good the best description of this dish is a cocova made with duck i really like the the taste i like i like the the wine how can how can you taste the wine and all the vegetables inside uh, the meat so it's really good the sauce of course gives a little bit more i'm missing a little bit of the crispy on the skin so i probably would put it back again and makes the skin the, the skin way more crispier than it is right now but it's good all right again thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave your comments what you like and what you don't like and see you next week bye